Simcolor here and today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to go back to the Uber series and because some of you have been having some some problems with uh, the app crashing on, or not finding any drivers, I figured I'll just make a video explaining to you how you can deal with problems like this and how you can use the debug tools and everything like that in order to figure out what the problem is and how you can fix it. Uh, I just want to uh, say one thing is my intent with this series was not to make a perfect uh, app. I knew from the beginning that it would have some problems because we are trying to make a, a multi-million dollar app that took a, a lot of developers and I'm trying to make that myself and with you guys. So I know it will have some problems, but the, the main goal was to make a proof of concept and something that works that isn't perfect and I talked about it in a, a previous video that I make on how you can make your million dollar app and uh, in there I say that it takes 20% uh, of the time to develop 80% of the code and 80% of the, the time to develop 20% of the code and what I mean by that is that it takes a lot more time to uh, make the app look uh, good and polish than it does to make it work so now we are at the point of the Uber app where I leave that up to you where you have to make it polish and you have to make it your own and you have to uh, lime out the, the rough edges so yeah that's the part that I'm trying to well that I, I give to you guys to do actually so in this video I'm only going to show you how to tackle some errors and how you can fix some errors and most importantly how you can find them so let's go ahead and uh, get on with uh, the app and open it and i have the driver map activity and customer map activity because in this lesson i'm only going to focus on uh, calling a driver and errors that originate from it so i'm going just to quickly launch the app on my phone and on my emulator and we'll go from there so here we are and uh, first things first is when you launch an app you you'll see in in the emulator primarily uh, it doesn't go anywhere and the reason why that happens is because using an emulator you must go into settings which is in here and you must go into location and send the gps signal okay and you'll see it will focus on uh, the place on the coordinates that you have right here and that's one of the things where I believe most of you are having trouble and that's one of the reasons why you, I tell you to use a fake GPS um, when using an emulator because a fake GPS will allow you to change these coordinate, coordinates uh, automatically you just go in the app and you uh, click on the move option and it will automatically change the coordinates and it is important because if you don't have a, a primary uh, location set the app will crash because the location is no be very careful about that so on my driver phone i don't have any trouble with that i'm using the fake gps just to have a location that's not my home but if i was using uh, my gps it would work because the gps on the phone changes regularly because even if you set it on a a, a table it will still change because the gps isn't perfect and it has some errors so yeah that's why we on a physical phone won't have any trouble with this on the emulator however you must always go in here and change and for the case of the um, driving the drivers you have to do one more thing which is if you don't see these drivers available and the driver that you are working with at the moment flashing that means that the location is changing and you are using an emulator but without using the fake GPS then you must go inside here and uh, whenever something happens you must change the, the latitude or longitude uh, slightly so that this uh, is changing if you have a drivers uh, available but nothing is happening drivers available are working but nothing is happening then something is wrong with your GPS and you must uh, do something to fix it the, mo the easiest way is to use a fake GPS and set the location to move. I'm going to link down the, the application that I use for that. 
uh, it is uh, simple, it is the best that I, I could find, so yeah, that's extremely important. If this isn't showing up at the beginning of the app, then stop, you are doing something wrong with your GPS. Okay, so now I'm going to simply run the app and let's see what uh, error pops up and how we can fix it. Okay, so, uh, oh, and one more thing be before we begin, I'm going to go into settings right here in the driver app. Make sure your driver has uh, some uh, UberX or Uber Black or Uber XL selected, otherwise it will crash because we haven't made the check for that, but you can do, it is a quite simple, uh, simply put an if, whenever we get the driver, so that we know if it is uh, what we want and if it has something selected. So make sure you have that uh, done. And now let's call the Uber and the app should crash. So yeah, it crashed and as you can see, it stopped at drivers available. It made the customer request, but it stopped right here. Now what we have to do is to go inside our project and go inside the log cat. In here, every error that, that pops up comes here. And now I'm going to select my device, the Huawei, because I have two connected to, to my computer right now, the emulator and my device. And I'm going to scroll up until I get to something that looks like this. These lines right here, when it is uh, evented, I don't know how you call it, when the lines are uh, more forward, is when a critical crash happens in the system. And as you can see, it has a lot of text here, and this is the most important thing that you can have because it gives you the information that you need to have in order to tackle the situation. So it says, attempt to invoke virtual method, double Android location, location get latitude on a null object reference. This on a null object reference is extremely important because it uh, means that the, the app got to uh, a point uh, where it found a null variable and it couldn't do anything with it. So yeah, we must do an if uh, variable different from null, then you can continue. So to, we can find where the, the null object was found by clicking, in this case, in this first line. So it was at the driver map activity .java at the line 236. Okay, so let's click it and it points us there. And um, it is basically because we didn't uh, select, um, oops, um, location that the, the customer wanted to get to. So in this edit text, the, now uh, the driver can't build um, a waypoint to it. So in order to fix it, you are simply going to say if pick up well, let long, different from null. And I'm using the English keyboard, let me just change that, okay. Different from null. And m last location different from null. So everything that we need in order to get that uh, waypoint, we are going to say only run this code if they are both different from null. Okay, so that's what that error meant and that's what you have to do in order to tackle errors like this, whether it is a, a listener that's null, uh, a remove listener that's null, where, uh, whatever. If you have a, a null reference, go simply to the line, see what's given a null error, what variable, and do an if different from null. It's as simple as that and you shouldn't need anything else. So let's run the app now and see what error pops up next. Okay, so as you can see, it is still with the old uh, information. So in order to fix this, we are going simply to go inside the driver, uh, the customer uh, uh, app and click on looking for uh, location. And that way it will cancel the, the request. And so uh, everything will get out of here. Even though there is a driver available, you should always clear up everything before the error happens so that everything is nice and clear. So let's click working and get the drivers available flashing again. And let's call for Uber. So let's do it. And let's see if 
it crashes. It doesn't, so that means that nothing else needs to be fixed. So we can drive completed, history, okay, so actually nothing else needs to be fixed. But the, the primary goal of the, this lesson was just to show you how you can uh, fix problems that appear to you. And this is the way. So <laughs> that's, that's the meme <laughs> that's going on right, <laughs> right now. I actually just remember that. So the, the main problems that will appear to you is the null one. So like another one that I found was right here. So like this uh, variable needed to have a get value in the customer map activity. But yeah, th it is all only small things like that, but that can uh, crash your app. And so you have to be careful about. And the way you do that is just by going to logcat and doing exactly what I told you. Uh, make sure that you are using are on the logcat of the, the device that crashed and yeah go from there I mean if you have any more specific problems then please go into uh, my uh, forum that I just created in the past uh, few days and you can go in here and if your problem is in the Uber, uh, Uber app then simply go into Uber and go in here create an account and add a post here try to say the the number at which in the number of the lesson in which you have the problem try to describe as best as you can and uh, put the log cat if you can find an answer for that in the uh, forums like stack overflow and so on and so forth it is always better to google it uh, because you might be able to find the, the answer there uh, rather than simply trying to post an answer and one more thing uh, before po uh, posting a, a thread here please search for whatever here so i don't know location if you have a problem with getting the location and it's some posts might pop up like we have right here so yeah try to do that all the time and uh, if not, I'll try to help you. I, I'm trying to, to answer to as many posts as I can, but it is kind of hard to, to manage all everything, but I'll make sure to try and do it. And yeah, that's how you, you use it. Um, if you have more specific problems, then use the debugger, use breakpoints whenever you can, and that way you might uh, pinpoint the error and how you can fix it. So that's all for now. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, please uh, go to the forum and post it there. So yeah, ciao.